and welcome back to my channel. So this is my second look in this holiday series. I don't know how many I plan on doing, but here we are. Um, my first one was like something with face paint, so I think for this one I'm going to try to do one without face paint. And a lot of people have done kind of that string Christmas lights look, and so I thought I would kind of put my own spin on it slash do my own thing. Um, so many people have done it, I'm sure I will probably come up with something like somebody else, but let's just, let's just go for it. Okay, so to start, as you can see, I have my brows and my face on, so I'm just going to jump right into eyeshadow. This is the Sufa Beauty Saffron Eyeshadow Palette. I love the red out of here. It is super pigmented, super blendable, and I'm going to do a full cut crease with just red. I just don't want to throw green in there. I don't love those two colors together for some reason on my eyes. So I'm just going to do that. I do have a full tutorial on how I usually do full cut creases, and I can link it here. But basically, I am just packing that into my crease and then blending it up and out with a fluffier brush and then to cut my crease i'm going to be using the wet and wild photo focus concealer in fair neutral i love this formula for cutting my eyes because it is a good consistency between too thick and too thin and it also takes like the proper amount of time to dry so not too fast not too slow and then i'm going to go ahead with a flesh colored eyeshadow out of that same palette and just set that on my eyes so to throw a little bit of sparkle in here because it is still a holiday look, this is the Rude Cosmetics Star Party Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Stellar. I am taking a very, very tiny paintbrush that I got off of Amazon, and I'm just following that crease kind of on top of the nude right below the red and just winging that out following exactly what I did to cut the crease. So for the Christmas lights, for the black sort of main cord that goes around. I'm going to be using this gel eyeliner from Pretty Bulgar Cosmetics. And I'm just throwing a loop in there, some waves kind of across my face and making sure that the black wire is more or less even. So we'll see how that turns out. But this is the Rude Cosmetics Lingerie Collection Naughty Nights palette. It has a lot of very vibrant colors in there, so I'm just taking a stiff brush, and I'm more like stippling on some of these pigments and just picking random colors, putting them on both sides of this wire, and basically like making them almost look like zits on my face. But this is the glow of the light bulbs from the lights. So because some of the colors went on a little bit light, especially this yellow, I'm just going to spray a stiffer brush with water and go over some of these colors again. And I don't know if it made a difference, but I don't know. It made me feel better at least. So next I'm going to take this white eyeliner from Clean Color Cosmetics. These things are like a buck, but I am going in to the center of the bulbs and popping this white on. I did have to jam it in my face pretty hard. So there's that. And then on top of that, I'm using this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in Gilded Rose just to give it a little bit more pop as well so that it sticks out a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take that same black eyeliner and connect the bulbs to the main wire. I feel like I drew the bulbs too far out from the main wire and so like the connections here are a little bit longer than I initially wanted, but I think it'll turn out okay. So next, I'm just going to pop on some lashes, finish this look. Uh, smoke out the bottom of my eyes with that red eyeshadow from earlier and that is the bulk of it so then to finish this look I'm going to go in with the Atomic Makeup NYC uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Nikki and that is it so that is it for my tutorial today I feel like so I like how it turned out but I kind of wish that the light bulb look was a little bit cleaner um, it is my first attempt at a look like this so I, I think I'm okay with how it turned out um, if anything, I really like the cut crease going on. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!